along with my post on click to mail I wanted to give you a quick run through on how I upload my mailing list to click to mail and merge it with the postcard I use and send it out the first thing you want to do once you log in is go up to mailing lists upload your mailing list browse for I'm going to select the most recent one open that up now press upload it doesn't take too long a couple seconds next thing I have to do is map the field the columns from your your list into uh, click the mouse so it knows what to use now here it's giving me the executor and the the uh, deceased name and address I only want the executor's information because this is what's going to go on the postcard mailing address so I want to change this to first name last name I want to get rid of these and here in the delivery address I have to make sure to get the executor address only see here it's actually giving me parts of the deceased address and parts of the executor's address, so I'll just change those. I named all of my executor address columns as City 1, State 1, and Zip 1. Just so I know the difference when I get into Click to Mail. And then click Done. Now the next thing is going to give you are all the non-standard addresses. It checks each address up against their database and will spit out the ones that don't match. This one is a little weird, I don't know why it's like this, but I don't want it, so I'm just going to select it and hit delete. You can also click on it, it'll tell you down here what's wrong with it, or give you an idea of what's wrong with the address, and you can attempt to fix it over here. I've had some success fixing it, but other times it just doesn't find the address, I'm not sure why. So I just go in and delete it because I don't want to be mailing out to an invalid address and it's going to get sent back to you and it's a waste of money. So now that I have deleted or fixed all the non-standard addresses, I will next step I'll go to mailing. So now we're all, it's all uploaded. This is the the list that I uploaded. Now next I want to go to my documents, select my postcard that I've created and we'll mail this document. After you select which uh, postcard or mail you want to send, you'll select the, the recipients. So I've selected the December and January recipients. Click Next. It'll give you some proofs and examples of what it'll look like. You can actually click through them all if you like. You can zoom in just in case you want to read and make sure. I like to zoom in to make sure I have the correct addresses like right here is 97 West Shore Road which is the deceased's address. I want to I put that in the postcard just to point out which house I am interested in. And then I want to come down here take a look at the the mailing address to make sure that is correct. In the past I've accidentally didn't fix the uh, the address and it was mixed up between the executor and the, the deceased and that was a waste of money. So everything's okay. I have to select this that I've reviewed the proof. The next step is go on payment. Come in here fill out your information. You can select what you want, full color, glossy. Normally I do black and white and uncoated, but this time I decided to try the full color. You get the yellow background and the glossy just to make it look a little bit more professional. So we'll see how that turns out. So I'm actually, you can see my total is 39.27. Not bad for 77 mailers with a little higher quality postcard. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I uh, hope this is helpful and uh, please leave a comment if you have any more suggestions. Thank you.